behind the scenes tour, I was a big fan of Gumby in the 1960s and 70s and just was enthralled with it and even tried to make some still action uh, films uh, as a kid and I've posted those on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, anyway, so to add, here's, here's, here's the scenery. To make it look a little more interesting, I tried to make it three dimensional as possible. So the clouds are cotton, the sun's sticking out, the trees are made. The river system here, I'll show you a little bit more how I made that uh, move. Um, the sandstone was basically just styrofoam that was being laid down. And how I changed scenes from lush to desert, basically I just inserted this over, made sure that it didn't move anything. And there we go. So behind the scenes of the scenes, uh, I've worked for the city of Anaheim as a city planner for roughly 20 years. And occasionally I got to see what goes on behind uh, the walls in Disneyland. And what, you, what the public sees in the front is very beautiful. Behind the scenes, they don't care what it looks like. Uh, and you'd be really surprised what uh, you see in the, the back lots of uh, Disneyland. It doesn't look pretty. And so this is how, uh, so again, this doesn't look pretty here. You notice I use duct tape and that just to make things happen. So how I made the river system move, I got blue cloth. I painted some uh, currents on it, which uh, you can see uh, down there. There's a light to make it stand out a little bit more. And the hair dryer. is what blows it to make it look like it's moving. And ta-da! So, let me just turn this off because it's so noisy. Anyway, I just want you to know that uh, I just appreciate all the support that you've given me. Uh, my uh, few, my five fans that I have out there in the world. Uh, I have a passion for geology. I love sharing it. I think it's a great profession. Um, and... Folks, if you like this, please like it and uh, share it with others. Love you guys. Happy trails. In the kitchen, the ride home, <laughs> my workshop. Happy trails, Joe.